This part of the world has already experienced the effectiveness of DDT in one of the miracles of modern medical history. This was Naples, Italy, shortly after the Allied occupation. Its crowded population lacked almost everything for the safeguarding of public health. Food, fuel, blankets, housing, clothing, sanitation. And refugees from all parts of Italy were swarming in. With them, the Laos. The perfect setup for epidemic. And then it struck. Typhus. The Naples area was immediately placed off limits to Allied military personnel. Within armies, typhus has won and lost more wars than all the strategy and weapons ever developed. But for the jammed civilian population of Naples, there seemed little hope. Winter was only arriving when typhus hit Naples, and never in history had a typhus epidemic ended before the warmth of spring. Then DDT was brought in. Dusting with DDT was begun at once. First, every case of typhus was tracked down, and every person who had been exposed was rid of the murderous louse by the powder. Next, the 40,000 Italians dwelling in the jam-packed air raid shelters were deloused. Finally, 43 DDT stations were set up throughout the city, and the entire remaining population was dusted. In January, when the large-scale dusting started, 60 new cases of typhus a day were being reported. Another month, and it might well have been 600 or 6,000 cases a day. Yet, by the middle of February, the menace of the epidemic was over. DDT had won by not only removing the lice when dusted, but by continuing to kill long after application, preventing reinfestation. <laughs>